Hello and welcome to The Brief, where we bring you key economic developments that occurred in the previous week and key activities to watch in the new week. It is the second full week of September 2022, and another significant drop in Nigeria's crude oil production for the month of August reinforces the need for a consensus in the country to address the menace of crude oil theft. For the key socioeconomic events from last week, the federal government suspended the proposed 5% excise duty on telecommunications sector. Minister for Digital Economy Professor Issa Ali Tampantami disclosed this in Abuja. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the value added tax in Nigeria grew by 17.2% in second quarter 2022 to 600.2 billion naira. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries agreed to commence a 100,000 barrels per day oil supply cut from October 2022. Also last week, the August 2022 production data released by the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission revealed that Nigeria's crude oil production dropped below 1 million barrels per day. For the week ended 9 September 2022, the key market highlights revealed the following. The equities market recorded mixed performance as the listed equities NGX ASI recorded a plus 0.7% gain week on week and the NASD OTC closed negative with 2.78% loss. The year and year FX rate closed positive and the NAFX rate also closed positive. The BDC rates closed positive. The Brent crude oil price and WTI crude oil price moved down at the end of the week. The FMDQ debt market size closed positive. It was also the same case for the AFEX ACI and AI index as they both closed positive. From what to expect from the markets this week published by ProShare, the money market analysts believe it will experience a double digit to persist throughout the week. The Treasury bills market analysts anticipate sell-offs to continue. For the secondary market, British analysts expect the sell-off sentiment will continue in anticipation of inflation figures. Looking at economic, financial and capital market events to watch in the new week, PMI Africa will host its first in-person conference post-COVID-19 in Lagos from today, Sunday, September 11, 2022. ProShare, Nigeria's leading financial information hub, will on Monday, September 12, 2022, release an incisive report titled The Anatomy of Crude Oil Theft in Nigeria, Understanding the Graft, Impact and Implications. On Tuesday, September 13, 2022, it will be a massive day as the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria will host its two days 15th Annual Banking and Finance Conference, which will focus on the theme, Repositioning the Financial Services Industry for an Evolving Global Context. Time for the event is 9 a.m. Also on the same date, the 14th edition of the PSRG Richardson HSSE Forum will hold at a co-hotel in Suits, Lagos. It will look at the team, the Nigerian oil and gas industry setting a new agenda. It will bring together stakeholders in the oil and gas industry to chart the pathway for the sustainability of the sector and growth of the nation's economy. Thursday, September 15, 2022 will be an opportunity for the Security and Exchange Commission in collaboration with the Financial Literacy Technical Committee to host a webinar that will assess fintech and the capital market opportunities or threats. Time for the webinar is 11 a.m. To close the week, First Bank Nigeria will host the Financial Market Dealers Association quarterly meeting with the theme Nigeria Macroeconomic Development and Outlook IMF View on Friday, September 16, 2022. The venue is Federal Palace Hotel, Lagos, and the keynote address will be delivered by Ari Aysen, IMF resident representative for Nigeria. And that will be all for this edition of The Brief. You can join our website www.proshare.co to read our news stories, report and watch our videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great week and please stay safe.